All right, fight fans, here we go. This fight is brought to you by TXCLive.com. Making his way to the cage, first up, fighting out of the red corner. Put your hands together for Aaron, Iron Man Cobb! All right, Aaron Iron Man Cook coming to us out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Five foot nine, weight in at 171.6 pounds, fighting out of Triumph MMA. One and four record. Looking to get the ship headed back in the right direction. We saw him most recently lose by submission here in this TXC cage in February. Bay coming to us from the Fight Club Proving Ground and Fuse MMA by way of Tirana, Albania. And the numbers for the Albania are just off the chart watching our, our fight tonight live on cagefightinglive.com. And I'm going to apologize to you guys right up front because I'll probably butcher Adrian's last name about 422 times if this fight goes on that long. But Adrian Hadrabe with just an incredible pedigree as a kickboxer. He absolutely beat up everybody in Europe. 7-0 as an amateur here in uh, amateur mixed martial arts. And uh, now looking to make his pro debut. And if he can keep it standing... He is absolutely the most exciting fighter you've ever seen. Fight Club and Fuse. There's about 600 people in the entourage. Adrian just now getting the grease on his on his eyebrows and, and cheeks. Looked like he was gonna hug half of the people in attendance here there for a second. Tall. He is making his pro debut in the cage tonight. He is 
trained by Joe Battaglia, Don Richard, and James Lee. He is out of the Fight Club Proving Ground and Fuse MMA. Once again, put your hands together for Adrian the Eagle Habibi. All right, fight fans, when this fight gets underway, Aaron Cook fighting out of the red corner. Burgundy shorts. Adrian Hadribe fighting out of the blue corner, black compression shorts. Your referee, Vicious Vance, swear and going to get him started here, Kara. I think start and quick finish. That's what I'm, I'm predicting. Adrian is just too sharp. I mean, he's just been ready for pro. It was great to get some amateur experience, but he's been ready for this. He's so accurate. He's so quick. His in and out movement is, is fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, if Aaron Cook stands there, he's going to get pieced up and then knocked out. He's got to get this fight to the ground. That's the only chance he has. And you can see Adrian already looking to take out that back leg. Oh, and he just, he shoves him to the ground and just wants to keep it standing. This is where he's comfortable. You Beautiful never know. spinning back kick right I mean, to the center. You just never know where it's coming from. I mean, his chin is high, his hands are down, which typically you see with this type of style fighter, which when you're inside, you got to be able to drop that chin. If you're outside well, and you're not in scary danger zone, you but can, it's something you can clean up. You can already see Aaron Cook completely confused by the incredible footwork and movement of Adrian Hadribe. It actually looked like Adrian hurt his foot in one of the earlier shots. And look at the speed. And he sits in the pocket with no fear, throws his punches, and waits to look to slip. There's two ways you could do defense. I mean, you can anticipate and you can react. And he just looks to sit in the pocket and react. He doesn't care about anticipating anything. He just no. wants to sit there and wait. And he'll attack you from your ankle to the top of your head a lot of times in the same motion. It's you're, absolutely incredible. You're already seeing Aaron have difficulty seeing out of his right eye. He was clipped by some of those punches. He puts his hands together so well. You want to throw from the box right in front of your face, and Adrian does such a great job at that. So that's why he can put these like four or five-piece combinations together. And looks so casual doing yeah, it. Yeah, he's so relaxed in there. And, I mean, that's the key to fighting, I mean, and, and being able to – be able to move slick like that. Look at him mixing things up. This is going to make people want to watch him. Already after his pro debut, people are going to say, when is this guy fighting again? I'll tell you right now, Aaron Cook needs to get something going. He's just slowly crawling right into range of Andre's. Well, I don't think he's ever met time. anyone like this before. You know, and I, few people have. Adrian's accurate. He puts his body in every one wow. of his punches. He ran in. You know, he said he moved here to Michigan. He chose, he wanted to come to the States, moved to Michigan because of the Albanian population. He wanted to come and feel like he was right at home with the family support. Lots of people watching from Albania right now, excited about this up-and-coming superstar. And I've already apologized for butchering his name Hajube. repeatedly. Hajube, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I remember that now. I mean, and I'm sure I'm not even brain. saying it perfect either. He just He can handle the, his own perfection in there. Aaron Cook needs to figure out some way to get in close and get this to the ground. I'll tell you the other thing Adrian does really well for a guy with his background is he uses the cage. Guys with, a, with that background tend to go forward and back on straight lines, and he is constantly working angles and never getting even close to the side of the cage, Carroll. Yeah, I mean, and he's just looking right now. He's just pot-shotting. He's just doing what he wants to do at will. You know, he's got those five minutes. This is new for him, the five-minute rounds. That straight left down the pipe, switching Chin's up his so stance. so high, though. I know. <laughs> That's the one thing. I mean, he's so quick. And typically, you see that style of fighting, the in and out with the hands down to explode. It, they feel like it helps them explode better. Wow. Yeah, I mean, when he threw that left, it could have dropped to his right a little bit because it was like an overhand left, but he didn't lean out. That's how you're going to get a little more body power into it. But you have to be in great nice. shape. Nice. Catches that weak kick and immediately chops out the base leg of Aaron Cooks. He's just running a clinic. Yeah, he's running a clinic, and Aaron doesn't really know what to do because you just don't know what's coming next. This is some trampoline training. I don't know if you, ever saw, <laughs> if you ever saw Brad Burrick fight when he was in his prime. Very similar without all the footwork and the flourish, but absolutely made people look like they had been thrown from moving trucks. And that's already what we're seeing on the face of Aaron Cook here in this first round. Looks like Pete the Puma from... Uh, wow, and he just picked him up and dropped him on the ground. Getting to the point where, you know, you know, sometimes 
you either want to hurt your opponent or embarrass them, and I think it's coming close to that. Well, this is like the Bugs Bunny cartoon, one lump or two. Yeah. And he just keeps putting it on Aaron Cook like he's Pete the Puma. Well, I think he should look for this first-round stoppage. I mean, he's shown us enough of what he can do. I think I would like to see him end it. Yeah, what you don't want is, is a guy to get back in his corner and get a game plan to shut this down on you. Yeah, Especially exactly. when you have the ability. See, and that running forward and throwing from your hips like it's a gun, you know, a gun show. That's something that he could clean up because you can get a lot more power if he can throw it from upstairs. Well, you'll have a hard time getting him to clean it up as successful as he has been with it until, you know, it bites him. But, you know, it just takes that one concept to get through your head that you will be faster and quicker, have more power. I mean, I, my chiropractor, I hated stretching. All he had to say was, you will be faster and quicker. So I was like, done, I'll start stretching. You know, for him, if he can throw from out of the box a little bit more instead of his hips I, th I really think he could put his punches together with a lot more power it does not come off as powerful when it's coming from your hip I'll tell you what it's I just am, physics I, I absolutely feel for Aaron Cook's corner what kind of advice can you give him to weather this if you try to if you get over aggressive about closing as good as Adrian's footwork is you're getting knocked out he's going to slide off to the side in his version of a check hook and put you to sleep but that's your, that's your option. That's your only option. I mean, the only thing you could do is faint, draw out a punch or a kick from, from Adrian, and then maybe look to attack. Yeah. But Adrian puts too much together. He doesn't yep. always one shot at and a time. And he never overcommits forward, so you can't bait him and then change levels on him. He's that not I, coming forward that hard. That eye of Aaron Cook that we were saying earlier was, you know, he was having trouble seeing out of it. You could see the big lump, the big mouse, and, you know, if that splits open. He's getting stitches right here in the... Macomb Music and, Theater. And Adrian looking like he just had a warm-up round. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and for his style, you have to be in great shape to be able to bounce like that. Got and that left hand out there now looking for some range on Aaron Cook. But that's where I'm saying. This is where I, I look to feint, draw something out from Adrian, and then attack. I mean, the, you have limited options with someone like this. And those options getting even more limited is that right eye swell shot. This is where, yeah, you just got to come forward, be aggressive, hopefully, to catch to catch uh, Adrian backing up. But Adrian sits in the pocket so well. He's not a guy that fights scared, so. No, and he's got so much experience. A hip movement, a shoulder movement. He knows exactly what technique you're bringing. But, you know, you're not seeing Aaron look for a way out. You know, he was looking to defend. He was looking to try and do things. You have to give credit to Aaron. Aaron's got to lock up like that this. half guard. He had that leg under nice and deep. He could have set up a sweep from there. Now, if Adrian's weak anywhere, this is where it's at. Aaron now needs to utilize that advantage and not let this get back to its feet because so can't. far this is a one-sided fight. Yeah. He can't let it get back to the feet. I mean, this is where he needs to be, even depending on, you know, his background. And he lets Adrian stand back up. He needed to work that close guard, get those knees high, and then start throwing up submissions. It, it, you know, and you just don't know what's coming from Adrian with, with all that bouncing. He's putting his hands together, but this is where after he fires, you have to attack. He gets very relaxed after he fires because he doesn't feel like he's in danger. You know, this is an opponent that he doesn't feel concerned about. His timing is so good, though. Mm -hmm. Well, and I mean, it's hard to figure out his timing because of the in and out, because the up and down. He's constantly in motion. When, when I say motion, timing, though, he's throwing his shots at exactly the time when Aaron Cook rushing. is out of position. And also, I mean, when he rushes, that's the usually people run, right? They get fearful when when someone's in the pocket. Adrian eating a little bit of an overhand right. I mean, it was was enough for him to take notice. Well, it's certainly the first time he's been hit in this fight. And I think this is where he needs to just finish it. Nice. Just a straight kick right up the center, Kara. But we'd like to see him put all of these skills together, you know, instead of the one at a time. Oh, right in the, right above the knee. Eric Cook Looking is to all finish done. It. Yeah, he's done. But, I mean, he's a fighter. He's, he's fought through a lot, and he continued. Whatever I mean, happened... With that left leg, for a second, he just absolutely gave up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he just hit it in the most perfect spot. Now look for Adrian Hadrabe to start working on that left leg now. 
I know. Is Adrian getting paid by the round? Why is he letting this fight go on? I mean, we're talking about this is time where you just get in there and finish it. And maybe he feels like he did enough on the ground, He's you know, with that volume. really heavily, Kara. Yeah. All of a sudden, just that little bit of ground transition. And there's the difference between the oh, anaerobic and, it, and the cardio. It's completely different. You know, that's why guys that I work with that do a lot of boxing, I'm like, you have to get your grappling in. It's a completely different energy system. You will gas. And you're seeing that in Adrian right now. A little bit of time on the ground, that anaerobic uh, energy usage takes over there, and he is looking hard to recover right now. But, I mean, you, you want to always constantly create momentum with fan support. And I think that that's why he's got to, you know, push the pace. He's got to end this this round instead of kind of letting this carry on for the third round, in my opinion. I mean, it, see, and stuff like that is exciting. That's where he's got to just get in there and attack a beautiful one-two down the pipe, but then jump right back on him. You land one-two clean. Come on, your guy's still busy trying to recover from that. Well, and you can that. see what a, what a athlete he is. He's already recovered. You can see the spring back in his feet as he dances around the cage. But he's letting Aaron be the stalker. Looking now, see to catch where Aaron him gets him on the side of the cage there. He's got to put the bums rush on him. If he yeah. gets knocked out, oh well. But it's the only chance he's got. Right. It puts a one-two and a low kick together. Still fighting. And it takes the legs out from Adrian almost. I think Adrian just got to get busy. He's got to finish this. You don't want to let a guy like this that has this much heart stay in there long enough to hit you with something. No, and you don't want to get sloppy standing over a guy. You can already see Aaron Cook when they were standing. He was looking for that ankle on the right side. Ten seconds. Here we go in round number two. We are going to go to the third round, it looks like. You know, Adrian and making the adjustment, going to the elbows. You saw him throw a bunch of elbows this round. And going to that third round. See, this is where... A durable opponent, even though he's one and four, a durable opponent is so good for Adrian so that you know, you know, you have beautiful punches, you have beautiful kicks, but not everyone is going to go when they're getting hit by them. This is a perfect opponent for Adrian to kind of show him that you can't just kick one person and then they're out. <laughs> but, you know, when you have that kind of talent, those are the expectations that you've created for yourself. Are you back with me right now, or are you still the cage girl? Oh, focus? no, I was looking to see if we were going to get a replay, Smarty. Oh, okay. I was watching the monitor. Yeah, I saw the days. I saw the days. I was looking to see if we were going to get a replay. But, uh, you know, the other thing Adrian's going through, it is his first pro fight. It's his first time. He's been a pro since he minutes. started. I mean, we've seen I'm him. I'm talking from an energy management standpoint. I know. I still think that. This is something where just push the pace. I, sometimes, you know, when you're a guy that has that kind of talent, you get surprised when you don't get someone out of there in the first round. He's got so much well, talent. That's the other thing about being a professional. These guys are all more durable than the guys you're you right. fought. You're right, yep, completely. And I'll tell you what, though. I hope Aaron Cook doesn't have a day job that puts him in, in the public <laughs> eye. <'cause laughs> a TV reporter. <laughs> or, or anything where he deals with people outside the company because right. he certainly looks like he has been in a fight. Third round, here we go. Adrian Hadrube in the black compression. A Aaron Cook in the red maroon, red burgundy well, trunks. You know, it looks like he's in marine uh, burgundy and gold. You know, yeah. he's got the marine tattoo on his yeah. left side there. But that's where that you can tell the durability comes from. I mean... His nickname, the Iron Man. I mean, he's taken a lot, and he keeps coming. And See, right now, Adrian absolutely getting a little loose and overconfident. You saw it with that first leg kick where he dropped his hands and almost ran in. If, if Aaron can at least get the uh, intestinal fortitude to stick a fist out there, he might score a point or two. Well, and he's starting to block Adrian's kicks. You know, stuff that was very successful in the first round, he's starting to pick up on See, it. See, watch how he checks that kick, though. And see, that was sort of the same thing I was getting at, but in reverse, he checks, and Adrian goes for that, that planted leg. He's very good at it. Oh, and man. there as, as uh, Aaron, yeah. Aaron checked the kick. Adrian sort of went in with a little savat kick at the back right ankle instead of taking his right leg. Same same uh, thought process, just different you, techniques. If you're Aaron, you cannot relax at all with Adrian because he can explode at any time. I mean, he's got to just be very weary of that. You got to give all the heart in the world, though, to uh, Aaron Cook. Unbelievable! He's become the last round and this round become the stalker. At this moving point, forward. this guy's got to pick better fights because oh, he's durable. Sure. He's solid. He should not be a one in uh, a one in five fighter at the end of this fight. At this point, you got to pick a couple gimmies for him. Get his confidence back. 
Well, when they're probably, you know, a guy that's got this type of record, you know, they're probably throwing a ton of money at to be an opponent. And sometimes that that's where your career ends up taking you. But, I mean, Adrian's got a lot to take away from this fight. I mean, it's not one of those first-round knockouts. Well, now I thought it was smelling blood, going to put but him against the side of the cage. But, again, as accurate as he is, you should be knocking people out with those shots. Because, but he's throwing them from his hips, and he's not getting a full rotation in the, from his body. You know, I think when we get the after-fight report out of the Fight Club Proving Ground, you know, I, I think he's a little winded. I don't think that... He was fully prepared for what 15 minutes meant versus but the I, nine that he was used to going. But I think that's just because he's done away with guys, disposed of them so quickly. But you have that expectation. And you may absolutely be correct. Aaron Cook in just full cover up in defend mode at this point. See, I would like Adrian to string all this together because he's such an exciting fighter. You want to see this kind of stuff back to back, not this leg time in between. Isn't that amazing? It's an absolutely one-sided, lopsided fight. Adrian Hodder Bay running a clinic, and we're like, come on, man, will you do something? I know. Because we expect so much out of him. Yeah, we do. And that's a sign of, you know, a good up-and-coming fighter is our expectations are so high of him already. You know, whatever they did over in Albania, they did a great job with him. He'll get an opportunity to, you know, keep moving forward and keep learning. And this, this type of experience is wonderful. To get uh, For your pro debut, get three rounds out of it. Well, even his corner getting a little frustrated now. Every time he steps in and starts stringing them together, they want him to finish. You never know, too, with the nerves. If you get an adrenaline dump, you know, he may not just feel 100%. A low kick, but Vance isn't, uh, you know, giving any time, even aware of this. Now, these guys just such good sports, yeah. too. Aaron Cook realized that one came up a little low. And it came up low because he ate one right in the chest and the ribs there at the same time. Adrian needs to just string them all together. I mean, this is what's going to make his camp happy, is to just push push the pace, put them together. This is like Bizarro World. He's going to come out of his first <laughs> pro Bizarro fight World. with a win, didn't get hit, looked fantastic, and everybody is frustrated with him at yeah. this point. Well, nobody, I mean, how, what fight ever do you want to see nothing happening? You know, a lot of bouncing around. This. You want to see something, even if he's in and out with the jab. Even Look at Aaron Cook's face. Things have been happening. But we not just volume. So and it's got to, you've got to string them together. And we've got to work on a better nickname. <laughs> the Eagle. I mean, it, it just doesn't translate from Albania May, to well, English. Maybe it's, uh, yeah, something that he brought over with him with his luggage. Over here, eagles are just uh, endangered birds. You know, he's just we're so relaxed. There's that 10 seconds. And, you know, that's the frustrating thing. When you don't see him push the pace, the, the fan base, you know, starts to say, get irritated. You know, you wanted to see everyone screaming and yelling, and that's the kind of highlight reel guy that Adrian is. I was is. looking for a highlight knockout. Exactly. So was I. I really was. I love Eric Cook, but I was really expecting something spectacular. And we got a very one-sided fight out of it. But it was as tentative as I've ever seen Adrian Hunter Bay in the cage. And it's an it's a, uh, indication of the level of talent this kid has that we are speaking this way when it's his debut fight. First time in a professional cage. Represented himself. And his club's very well, but everybody looking for a highlight reel knockout from him at this point. All right, just waiting on the judges to tally these cards. Shouldn't have any unexpected surprises, though. Aaron Cook doing a great job making it 15 minutes with Adrian Hadri Bay. They come up with a little better game plan for a guy who is absolutely running a master class in kickboxing in there. And he, as more and more of this gets on film, it'll be it'll be fun to see Adrian's. Fights be a little less one-sided. Into the cage, Kara Kaoro with your official TXC decision.
All right, Fight Fans, let's hear it for both of these fighters in the cage tonight. Put your hands together. After three rounds of fighting, we go to the scorecards. Judge Gross, Judge Holiday, and Judge Morrell all scored about 30 to 27 in favor of your winner. By unanimous decision, put your hands together for Adrian Hadrimo! All right, Adrian, you made us wait. We thought you were gonna take him out. You So accurate, so much success. Talk to us about this fight. You know, uh, it was a long way to be part of my night of debut. And I trained hard. All right, go to the replay and here. Today I had Adrian Hadrube absolutely in full control of this rounds. fight from start to finish. And you guys almost saw all my movements, all my skills, you know, because Brutal I had punches and kicks, and then any time it got close, he just so picked just up Adam Cook and dumped right him right on his back. Rounds. At any point did you think you were going to take him out and end this fight? Heavy uh, shots you know, moving I, high and low. I take all the opponents seriously. Great debut for Adrian Hadrabe. For taking the fight. And he is a very strong guy. You folks watching in Albania so should be very proud of this young man. With me and I appreciate that. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's, that's here. You know, all my hard work pays off right here. I'm proud of you guys. Now talk to me a little bit about your friends and family. I know we have a Albanian contingent here in Michigan and overseas watching. Yeah, every day this big family of mine is going every day, you know. When I came here, I was by myself. And now, after two years, you know, I have all this family, all these neighbors coming and supporting me. That's such a blessing. And I thank all the guys that are watching live from the, their house overseas everywhere my family oh okay and talk to me a little bit about your training leading up to this point you know your your coaches your training partners etc to get you to this point uh you know now it's professional level you know like guys and fights getting tougher every day you know so every fight uh, i learn you know i learn what i need more you know that's why we're here you know to build our career to step you know to move forward so every fight it's a it's a lesson for me you know uh, I thank my team, all my coaches, like for putting me in for their hard work. Joe, Don, Ben, all the guys, you know, my teammates, they are here supporting me. I thank everybody. Well, congratulations. You're one and all as a professional athlete now. Thank you. I just started. All right. Congratulations once again, Adrian Hadrube. Again to the replay, this time a little bit on the ground here. Although Adrian never really committed to groundwork. He scores when he can and then the minute uh, Aaron Cook established some sort of position, Adrian was out back on his feet as he should be. Right there I thought we might see a nice little sweep coming from Aaron Cook. Just could not commit to it. See the loose half guard work here. And we'll watch Adrian pop right back up in just a second. 